I'm here with United fan channel legend and now William Hill football ambassador, the one and only Mark Goldbridge. Woo woo! <laughs> Somebody to join in. Yeah, I don't know. You just don't know what to do. Uh, today, we'll be delving into the archives and quizzing Mark on some of his most famous rants, raves and analogies. But the question is, how many of them can Mark actually remember? Do you back yourself? God knows. I was quite angry probably in a lot of them, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, most of them. 90%, I'd say. Yeah. Um, but before we get into it, I want to know, can you, can you give us an analogy for Man United's start to the season? Um, there's a, well, there's a Forrest Gump one about box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. But I think actually, I think sticking your nose in a beehive at the moment, you might get a mouthful of honey, but you're probably going to get stung. And I think that's a little bit like what was going on at the moment. Um, it's just every day something happens and it's not always on the pitch as well. It's a nightmare at United at the moment. Is it a tough time being a United fan, Mark? It's, I'm used to it. Where do you think all these rants come from? It's um, <laughs> 10 years. We need to get the glazers out and rebuild, but it's football. I'm sure there's, most people watching this have got zero sympathy. OK, Mark, so I'm going to read you a line mm -hmm. that's something that you've said, and you just need to tell us who you said it about or which game you were talking about, which club. You'll get the gist of it, okay. and then you'll get a point for each correct answer. Make sense? Makes sense, yeah. OK, here we go. No pressure. Do you feel a bit nervous? No. Oh, okay. the end of the day, what's going to happen if I get them all wrong? Well, maybe something will. Maybe there's a forfeit. Ooh. Okay, the first one. Ahem. It's one of the worst goalkeeping errors I've seen. It's low at blank blank and it's gone in. It's gone through his hands. That's unforgivable from blank. Well, what are you talking about? Well, considering... I don't think I'd be that passionate about an Arsenal goalkeeper. So I presume it's a Man United goalkeeper. And considering he's been our, well, he's not anymore, but he mm -hmm. was for about 10, well, 10 years, David Dyer. You are correct, but let's take a look at it. That is one of the worst goalkeeping errors I've seen. It's low at De Gea and it's gone in. It's gone through his hands. Oh, God, that is unbelievable. There's absolutely nothing I can say that is unforgivable from David. And I love David De Gea, so I regret that. Oh, you still feel that way about him? Yeah, I don't think we should have got rid of him. Oh, legend. That must have been a low point for me and Dave. <laughs> Dave. Miss you, Dave. <laughs> OK, next one. What game was this? That midfield has got the positional sense of a blindfolded slug trying to find a Mars bar at a Weight Watchers convention. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Did I do it justice? I quite liked that. Thank you. I might, I might use that one again. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would be stunned and disappointed if it wasn't McTominay and Fred. In, and, it could, and the thing is, the evidence is outstanding because it will be probably for two seasons worth. What, what game? It's what oh, game oh, was it? Oh, this is what I mean. It could be anything. I mean, it could be, could be anything from the two years. I'm going to say Man City. Yeah, Manchester Ooh. Derby at the Etihad. There we go. You're quite that good at this. That was a good guess. All right, let's Almost have a like look. like I said it. <laughs> that midfield has got the positional sense of a blindfolded slug trying to find a Mars bar at a Weight Watchers convention. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. OK, what game was this? <laughs> my eyes are bleached I can't I can't speak I can't speak I'm absolutely fuming 4-0 I can't speak 4-0 you know what that should be memorable 4-0 <laughs> should be memorable for United it shouldn't happen hardly ever but I think this could be numerous games it could be on the way to 7 against Liverpool um, I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say Liverpool 7-0 Correct. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that Move was pretty on. bad, wasn't it? It was pretty bad. Yeah, well, let's have a look. My eyes are bleached. I can't. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm absolutely fuming. 4 nil. I can't speak. Three out of three so far. Well done. Doing well. It's a bit depressing, though. Yeah. It's, it's, therapy's meant to be a good thing. This is revisiting trauma. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So many other rival fans are as well. <laughs> OK, next one. Which team were you referring to after United conceded? OK. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Absolute joke. It's like Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Poundland version. 
<laughs> we're one nil up at half time. We're comfortable. We come out in the second half and we're lazy again. They're a Poundland version of Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's like Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Poundland version. God, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess it was a cup game and say Rochdale. Southampton. Oh, right. Sorry, Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the premonition was right. They did get relegated. <laughs> oh, look, you were wrong there. But let's have a look. It's a joke. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. It's like Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Poundland version. We're 1-0 up half time. We're comfortable. We come out in the second half and we're lazy again. Right, who are you talking about here? So who are you taking aim at? Blank Blank in the first seven minutes has defended like a bloody newborn lamb trying to stop a pack of hungry wolves eating the last Krispy Kreme donut. My God, <laughs> I'm good. Um, <laughs> not bad. Genius. Let's um, oh, go and make quite a few options, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go for my favourite player in the world and say it was Harry Maguire. You are correct. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Let's have a watch. Harry Maguire, in the first seven minutes, has defended like a bloody newborn lamb trying to stop a pack of hungry wolves eating the last Krispy Kreme donut. OK, Mark, so far you have got four out of five correct. Not bad. Not bad, no. Nope. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Maybe it will go swiftly downhill from here. Yeah, Things might crossed. do. <laughs> OK, next one. Um, you reacted like this when which team scored a second goal against United before it was disallowed for offside? OK. OK? They're not even that good. Oh, they used to be so good. It's their trophy. It's their trophy. That was years ago. That was Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. They're bloody Princess Leia from Force Awakens now. They used to be good. Nobody's interested in them anymore. Rubbish. God, I get hot. I'm getting quite sweaty just doing that. I don't yeah, know how you're you, do it. you did it better than me. I keep telling you. Um, I'm going to say Arsenal because they used to be good. And I, that, that sounds like it was really winding me up. So it's got to be Arsenal. What? OK, wait, you mean they used to be good? Well, what? I know, but I mean, maybe the, some of these clips could be three or four years old. OK. It might be pre Arteta. Um, OK, before we get into a fight on camera, Mark, it is not Arsenal. It's the Europa League match. A little clue. Um, Oh, God, nobody decent plays in the Europa League. That's why it's so horrible. Um, well, we did play Barcelona last year, so I'm going to say it's quite recent and it's Barcelona. Are you sure you want to stick with that answer? I can't think of anybody in the Europa League that was good. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? You used to be... OK, Sevilla. They were never good. You... <laughs> they, used to win, oh, no, they used to win the Europa League a lot. They used to win the UEFA Cup a lot. I wouldn't describe, it was a low moment. I wouldn't describe them as ever being good. And I'm never going on there on holiday, so I don't care. <laughs> you don't have to watch your back. No. Well, let's have a look at the clip. <laughs> They're not even that good. Oh, they used to be so good. They, they, it's their trophy. It's their trophy. That was years ago. That was Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. They're bloody Princess Leia from Force Awakens now. They used to be good. Nobody's interested in them anymore. Rubbish. Four right out of six so far. OK. God, I'm good at maths. Right, next one. <laughs> okay, who scored this goal to provoke this reaction last season? Okay. Okay. To put us in the Champions League. Here we go. Here we go. Blank steps up. He scores. Alexa, play the Champions League music. I'm glad there's not an Alexa. Well, <laughs> I was getting goosebumps then. You did that Who really well. That? Imagine how people felt when they watched it live with me. <laughs> Um, With your voice, Chris. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've, I've steps up, penalty, Bruno Fernandes. Ding, ding, correct. There we go, yes. Well done. We go. Let's look. Here we go, Bruno, to put us in the Champions League. Here we go. Here we go. Bruno steps up. He scores. Alexa, play the Champions League music. I'm just giggling at this one. Okay. At nil-nil, in which game did you say this? The thing is... They're going to have pressure, but I've got to be honest here, and I will be. I have so much confidence in our defence. I'm not saying they're impregnable, but if you've got a defence that's under pressure, I don't mind being it being this defence. Oh, yeah. I, 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 know, I know where we're going with this. <laughs> it's it's going to be... I'll, I'll just go Liverpool 7-0 again. Yeah, yeah, correct. We like yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot to say about that, is there really? <laughs> okay, let's have a watch. <laughs> the thing is, they're going to have pressure, but I've got to be honest. I got to be honest here, and I will be. I have so much confidence in our defence that I'm not saying they're impregnable, but if you if you've got a defence that's under pressure, I don't mind it being this defence. What a defence! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then it went so swiftly yeah, downhill. It's almost like it's jinxed. <laughs> Who scored and what game is this? Okay, okay, it's a little bit trickier. He leaps like a salmon, neck muscles like a giraffe. Blank nearly pulls off a great save, but that ball's over the line. Get in, 1-1. One, one. Who leapt like a salmon, Mark? I would say there's only one man who can leap like a salmon <laughs> with necks like a giraffe, and that would have to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Am I right? <laughs> no. Oh. But I love how dedicated yeah. you were to that. Oh, sorry, sorry, Cristiano. <laughs> You got that so wrong, Mark. It's Casemiro leaping like a salmon. He, to be fair, he has been very, very good with his head at Manchester United, so, you know. But I'd always think Ronaldo, you know, he's just, he almost stays still in the air. I'm just hearing excuses. Let's have a look at the clip. He leaps, leaps like a salmon. Neck muscles like a giraffe. Kepa nearly pulls off a great save, but that ball's over the line. Get in. 1-1. One, one. Who are you talking about in this one? Why is he the last man here? I mean, that is like putting a snowman in front of a blowtorch. Why is he the last man? Um, I'm gonna go with somebody I probably don't think is very good. So I'm gonna say Harry Maguire. No. Marcus Rashford. <laughs> oh, oh, we can allow that. It's recent, isn't it? This is like really recent. This is like in the la last couple of weeks. It was Marcus Rashford. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? And I do like Marcus Rash, but I just know okay. I, was, I just I would get stuck in Harry Maguire defence. Look, fine. You're, you're new to William Hill. I'm going to be kind. Thanks. Part of the family. I'll give you that point. Good. Let's have a look. Why is he the last man? I, I mean, that is like putting a snowman in front of a bloody blowtorch. Why is he the last man? OK, Mark, who are you talking about in this one? He's got the money, and as I said on the watch along, this is like a guy who has the money to build the best Formula One car you can get. The best wheels, the best engine, the best aerodynamics, the best team to take the tires off and check it. And he's driving it himself. Who were you talking about? Wow. <laughs> Someone you really like. Um, Eric Ten Hag? Oh, no. 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 The Glazers? No. <laughs> I'm stumped. It's, it's a positive one from me. Am, am I reading this right? No, no. You, th you th I mean, maybe for you that is potentially quite I'm, positive. I'm lost, I'm lost on this one. <laughs> you were talking about Todd Bowley. Oh, oh. Right. okay, yeah, makes Let's sense. Let's have a look. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got the money. And as I said on the watch along, this is like a guy who has the money to build the best Formula One car you can get. The best wheels, the best engine, the best aerodynamics, the best team to take the tires off and check it. And then he's driving it himself. Okay, congratulations, Mark. You got more right than you got wrong. Well done. You're at mid-table. Yeah, decent. West Bit Ham. like Man United. Oh, oh got in there quick. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, yeah, great.